If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can leverage K6 to inject some faults to your Kubernetes cluster. As you know, K6 is a free and open source load testing tool. Comes with AGPL 3.0 license and it is a CNCF member project. It is written using Golang and recently got acquired by Grafana. If you want to extend some of the core features of K6, you can leverage extensions. For example, if you want to generate some fake data or if you want to test your Redis cluster, you can leverage the K6 extension. Using the XK6, you can build your custom K6 binary along with your extension. If you visit the extensions uh, URL here, you can build your uh, custom binary. In this example, we are going to build the custom binary for uh, Kubernetes using the xk6-kubernetes so that we can inject chaos into our Kubernetes cluster. To get started, you need to have valid version of Go and Git installed in your machine and also you need to have access to your Kubernetes cluster. Right now, these are the experiments you can do. For example, pods you can delete, you can create. Again, services you can create, delete nodes, config maps, jobs. So you can refer the official documentation. In this demo, we are going to do three experiments. One is pod delete, and then we are going to delete the deployment, and then we are going to delete the service. Now let us see a quick demo how you can leverage K6 to inject some chaos. First, let us validate our cluster info. Just to type uh, kubectl cluster info. So in this case, I'm running a simple cluster in DigitalOcean. And right now, I don't have uh, any pods running in my uh, default namespace. Now, let me uh, clear my screen and uh, let us uh, spin up a simple uh, deployment. So this deployment will spin up Nginx image with uh, three replicas. Let us uh, expose the service. Okay, now let us inspect the pods. As you see, there are three which is uh, up and running. And similarly, let us uh, get the uh, service. So we have Nginx running in the cluster IP so that uh, each uh, pod can talk to each other. Now let me clear my screen. Let us uh, see what is there inside this particular folder. So we have uh, K6, this is the binary and we have the chaos-demo. So now let me just uh, explain the uh, chaos-demo.js file here. So line number one, two, three, you need to import the relevant uh, packages using the import uh, keyword. And line number five, we are defining the constant uh, namespace, which is uh, default. I think it is not required. Let me just delete this because uh, I have already uh, defined in the line number 10. And the first step is to define the uh, Kubernetes client. So line number seven has uh, Kubernetes client. So by default, it will refer to your uh, home path dot cube slash config. But if you want to refer to some other location, you can uh, use it you can use the config underscore path. So in this case, my digital ocean cluster, which is uh, up and running in the uh, default location. So as of now, we don't need to make any changes. So basically this will create a new client so that you can interact using this uh, client. Line number 10, as I mentioned, we are just defining some options, uh, namespace equals uh, default. And line number 14, we are just uh, printing the number of pods, which is up and running in the default namespace. Our first experiment is deleting the random pod. So to get the random pod, first we have to get the pods list. So we are uh, using the get pod names. It's a custom function. So if you just scroll down, you can see the uh, function get pod names. So this get pod names will list out the pod names back to the main function. And this block, try and catch block, it will uh, just kill the pod. So whatever uh, pod name, which is randomly uh, getting assigned to this variable pod name, which will be killed using Kubernetes client dot pods dot kill. And here we are passing the pod name and the namespace. So this function will just kill the pod. So I'm just using the try catch so that uh, in case if the pods are not available, then it will print the log information and it will sleep for five seconds. And then next is we are deleting the deployment. So again, we are passing the uh, Nginx uh, deployment name and the namespace. And again, it will kill the deployment. Otherwise, it will just print the error message. 
again it will sleep for 5 seconds again at the last step we are just deleting the services again we have uh, nginx service it will kill otherwise it will just display the error message and here i have something called handle summary right now it is it will not print anything but in case we want to print uh, you can leverage the handle summary it is pretty simple now let us uh, start executing this particular uh, chaos uh, experiments let me clear my screen let us execute the k6 binary and run command and then we have to use uh, k6 chaos testing dot js and if you hit enter it will carry out the experiment so the line number one it is printing the uh, number of uh, pods and then this pod has been killed successfully and now deployment also killed successfully and after five seconds it will uh, delete the service now let us quickly validate whether we have the uh, deployment or not let me clear my screen and let me just uh, k get uh, deployment right now see there is uh, no resource similarly if you uh, kubectl uh, get uh, service there will not be any nginx service similarly if you get the pod again there will not be any pod which will be up and running so by leveraging the xk6 hyphen kubernetes you can bring chaos to your kubernetes cluster if you are using k6 as your load testing tool you can just embed your chaos experiments into your CICD pipeline or within your k6 scripts that's it guys on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments thank you for watching have a nice day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel